You killed it. Yay! <laughs> Yay! We are here today with River Daz, who is coming off his fight with Sexan Okwamu. It was just this past Friday. We're going to talk about the fight, watch it together, and <laughs> get some of the insights behind the fight. Before we get going with the fight itself, though, want to talk to us a little bit about the camp and maybe some of the prep work behind it? Um, well, camp was about six weeks, six mm. to eight weeks. We trained twice a day. It started off with a morning run, which changes between eight to 10K, depending on the day. And then our first session, is about eight rounds of pads and now if you've been to Fairtex before uh, our pad sessions are five minutes long or a round is five minutes long and I would do eight in the morning then I would repeat in the afternoon uh, do about eight to ten rounds of pads and then would finish up with either some clinching or sparring or whatever whatever my trainer would put me through I did a lot of conditioning for this um, some of my warm-ups were stair runs tire flips and also a hammer so I'd use that daily as well as I would do rounds with weighted gloves so I had two killers wrapped to my arms um, and I did I think about two weeks of that uh, and then on top of that just the everyday Muay Thai training yeah. well. <laughs> you switch trainers from this one from a, little, a mm -hmm. big camp to a what were some of the differences? Um, I think the biggest difference was firstly just size. So big champ in his yeah. name, he's a big guy. Yeah. Um, a lot of the stuff that you just need to out muscle and use a lot of strength just don't work on him. Mm -hmm. So uh, we would try and implement techniques that I would use against big champ, but they just wouldn't work because of his size. Yeah. That I would actually work on with A, and he's, more, he's my size basically. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's a lot about, about my height and around my weight, maybe that's a it. little lighter. That's it. So he was a bit lighter, a bit smaller, a lot more easier to move around. So that was that was a key component, especially for this fight, that I needed to be able to push someone back um, throughout training camp. And then the ultimate difference is that big champ, there's a lot more technique and a lot more round kicks involved. Mm -hmm. Whereas with A, it's purely just conditioning, <laughs> conditioning, conditioning, um, conditioning. A lot of a lot of just repetitive movements, but as hard as you can and as fast as you can. And so we'll get right into it. The uh, announcer is sort of doing the pre spiel here. I haven't the, seen it. No, you haven't seen this. Yet? Well, I've watched the Did fight. I've watched the fight. Like watched the fight. Times. Oh, you watched the fight already? I've uh, like, watched it heaps. Yeah, sorry, Mitch and uh, Gianni. We'll start with the tail of the tape yeah. about two minutes and 2.10. Okay, <laughs> so here we have the tail of the tape. Uh, is it going? Yes. No. Uh, so Sexton is a little bit older. Did you feel taller than him? It says that you're two inches taller. Um, standing next to him, yeah, I did actually feel a lot bigger. Oh really? Mm. I felt I felt bigger. Mm. Um, yeah, I just felt bigger. <laughs> and it was at 140 pounds. Your last fight at one was a little above 140, right? It was like 64.6 uh, from memory. It was on two days notice. I can't remember what that yeah. is in pounds. Um, yeah, and then yeah, this is at my preferred weight. If mm. I could come down, I'd like to come down to 61. Um, but 63 and a half, I feel really strong now. And you're very, very excited. <laughs> yes. How did you feel coming out right here? Um, I think in the back, we'll, you could see that I just talked to myself yeah, a lot. Right. <laughs> blah, 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 I just, blah. just verbal vomit everything that I'm feeling, but I was so excited. Mm. Like, I was so excited when I could hear the crowd. I don't know. I don't know if it was the first time that I really, really enjoyed myself. Or I, like, I've just been waiting for this moment. Mm -hmm. It was such a long time. And then, yeah, coming out, I was like, I'm going to make the most of this. I'm going to try and remember as much as I can. I'm going to just be myself. And what will be is what will be. <laughs> yeah. And so we have in the corner, there's A. 
Uh, there's Mon Mon and me. Mm -hmm. And then I'm yelling at you. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This is it. This is it. <laughs> I always, because I, I don't function very well when people are like, yeah, you're doing great. Yeah. So I told you at the yeah. back, I was like, hey, I just need you to either abuse me or just yell at me. <laughs> and then I will just ramp up even more. So, okay, okay, fine. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that with our last fight at, uh, who was it, Nantiket? Yeah, Nantiket. You know, I sort of waited and then you were, you said that to me, so I said, okay. <laughs> and that's what I did. The, uh, my voice went empty after this <laughs> fight. The same with the fight at Nantiket. Just so much, just screaming. Just, just, just yell at yeah, me. Yeah, just, just yell. yell. Me. Go, 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 <laughs> Just go, yell go. at me. I went, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What was the game plan going into this fight? Um, so the game plan initially was be smart. Mm. And then if you can't be smart and he puts it on you, then just go crazy. Yeah. But then my mind, when everyone was telling me about the game plan, try and keep it as smart as you can. I watched every other opponent's fight and they were trying to stay on the outside and stop him from moving. Mm -hmm. I just thought, I think the smartest game plan is to be crazy. Mm. So just go, <laughs> just <laughs> match the crazy. Just match the crazy from the get-go. Uh, you were telling me, just press him. Mm. And the corner was like, yeah, just press him from the start. We're we'll just, you're fit enough. We've been training way too much for this. Yeah. Um, and that basically got me through was the training. I was like, no, no, no. This is nine minutes of work. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna run through this guy as much as I can, <laughs> and I'm lucky I did the training. And sex, I'm taking off his vest here. How were you feeling in the ring? Were you feeling any type of way in particular? Um, I think one thing that actually boosted boosted my confidence, which I thought it would actually stop me or scare me, was sex on sex on himself. Mm. and his name you know I think we I was always training with the fear that I'm facing such a great person mm -hmm. and then I think not just just before I walked out but especially throughout the week I was telling myself if I was a great fighter what would I want out of my opponent and then my clarity came from if I would want to give this person the best fight of his life something that he could remember like out of respect for him mm -hmm. out of my biggest respect for you, I'm gonna fight you with the best of my ability. And that's probably what I would want to admire Bernard. One of the interesting things for me, and you can sort of see it here, but definitely when he got in the ring, Saxon was nervous. Yeah. I, I've known him for a long time. Okay. I've seen a shitload of his fights. He gets, definitely a lot of people get nervous. Yes. And it's pretty normal, I was surprised. You know, yeah. a few t I've seen him fight at Roger. Just like a little bit of nerves. Sure. But this fight, I felt like, man, he is a lot more nervous than normal. I honestly never picked it up. I think yeah. I, I think I was in my own head more so. But I definitely saw it in the first round. Mm -hmm. In the first round, when we touched gloves or when like I stood up to him, I was like, he he's like placid. Yeah. Is what I thought. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good word for it. And here we have Dom Lau announcing the names. That was yeah. a miss. That was a miss. Yeah. I was like, are you serious? You're coming up? This is cool. <laughs> this is cool. How does it feel having your name screamed out by Dom Lau? It, it's just, it's the best experience, you know? Mm -hmm. I think mean, you watch, you watch this as a spectator, like, I can't wait, you know, I can't wait. But everything that you're feeling, like, that it might be, is what it is like when you're in there, like, yeah, yeah, I, I would just wanted to soak this in as much. Like, I saw my family in the corner. Um, you could see them from the I could see, I was like, I'm gonna search for them. They gave me so much strength, mm -hmm. and, oh man, there was so many eyes on this. Yeah. See, he's nervous, he's, bro. He's nervous. He's like, yeah, he's just, he doesn't look fired up, you know? Yeah. I think I work him up with like the first like 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to see it. Um, Sexton obviously has fought hundreds of times. It's just always interesting to see people's reactions beforehand. Yeah. 
I never picked it. I didn't think like. Then again, I've never. I skip straight to the fight, so I don't yeah. really see how he is. The other thing is, I think you only pick up on these things when you see the person outside of the sure, fight versus yeah. like in the fight. Then also sometimes a lot of fights itself. Ah, look at me, look at me, look at yeah, me. So <laughs> the one of the good things I think you did was you didn't respect him right away. Yeah. And the body shot. No. But I was telling myself out of respect, I'm gonna fight you. Yeah. Like I'm going to give it to you. Mm. Because I don't know why it's kept telling us I'm like, you deserve the best of me. Mm. Like, I want you to remember me. <laughs> That's basically what's going on. Like, I want you to remember me. <laughs> and were you thinking about anything right here? You have them almost folded over already. It's only, it's about 30 seconds in. <laughs> um, nah, I just remember you telling me you have to go from bell to bell. You were like, there's nine minutes. Just work for nine mm -hmm. minutes. And then I remember at the end of the round, you're like, Okay, the six more minutes. The six more minutes. I'm like, okay, fine, go. The the body shots were really working. Mm -hmm. We saw that with his fight with Tyson Harrison. Also, uh, <laughs> what's his name? JP Gallagher in the mm -hmm. back room was saying that as well, hitting mm -hmm. the body. And we saw the left liver shots. Yes. He did like three or four of them work very, very well. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, the push off too. Yeah. Like what I was explaining. There, there's training. another yeah, body another shot. Oh, body <laughs> shot. You're definitely sapping him. He's starting to pick up here. Yeah. Though he's he's still wild and missing a lot. Yeah. But yeah. he's getting his steam going. Yeah. Yeah. I was. I think I told that to the commentators in the interview. I was like, Sex Life is like a steam locomotive. It's a train. Mm -hmm. As soon as he starts moving forward, it's really hard to stop him. Mm -hmm. And then I think the game plan. That was a really nice tweet. Yeah. The game plan is just to evade him, but I feel like that's working into his fight. So mm -hmm. just push him back. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> uh -huh. Spinning back fists from him. Did any of these shots hurt at all? Uh, no. No, no, no. I, uh, Oof. I felt like, yeah, nothing, nothing. I was like, I don't think he could knock me out. Mm. So I'm just gonna re remove that from my mic. Like I don't think he's ever planted enough to throw as hard as he can, mm -hmm. as you can tell. It's just just repetitive. <laughs> yeah, he. A lot of the shots. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of these shots aren't from him. Aren't even landing clean. There, there was a nice body that shot, nice. but he he's winging his punches a lot and. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <I just started. laughs> his feet are always unstable. Man, look at me, I'm smiling all yeah. the way through. Oh! Oh! I wish. <laughs> yeah, that, that I, I think felt that was, a was, that was a slip. But he's so no. unbalanced here. There was the first mm -hmm. leg kick. Not at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I should have kicked more. I, yeah. One thing I found with kicking him, because he just kept moving forward, I found it really difficult to low kick. Mm. Just because I'm always on the back foot. But definitely a switch. I should have kicked more. I should just. Should have done more. <laughs> so, uh, short one minute breaks. Here's some of the highlights. But what were you thinking and feeling after this first round? Uh, I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. Like, I am doing this. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I'm doing this. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't. I know. Uh, yeah, I'm. That's basically it. I'm doing this. I'm taking it to him. I, I'm pretty sure I'm winning this fight right now. Uh, and then yeah, you guys were like, you got six more minutes, work harder. I was like, yeah, sure, done. <laughs> yeah, all smiles from you. There's a spin back fist. And so, did you want to make any adjustments going into the second round? Um, honestly, I think I was so, I, I wasn't thinking straight. Mm -hmm. um, I think I had like, it, like the corner, like you guys were just like screaming, screaming just screaming, and then the whole crowd was just screaming. I was like, nah. But I remember a he, oh, oh yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was the knockdown. The obviously a bit controversial. Uh, oh, look at that! Oh, uh, <laughs> you, you knocked him down with that shot. The referee Ricky Sewell did not give it a count. 
you walked away thinking it was a cat, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you just watch. Oh my god! <laughs> this is sex art. Yeah. I like. I always tell us. I'm like. I'm doing this to him. Yeah. I'm like, wow. <laughs> wow. So and he he grabs the ropes a handful of times as mm -hmm. well. He did it in the first round, and then also he grabbed it in the second. There's more body shots. Oh my god. I was really hoping you would work the body a lot because he was. Definitely suffering in the clinch, yeah. or suffering from these body shots. I think from especially the first round. Yeah, he, like you he, can see his po like his posture is like yes. leaned. Wow, over. double speed back. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, it's it's definitely <laughs> getting very dogged here. <laughs> were were you feeling anything in particular? How were you feeling halfway through the second round? Now. Everything's just like just gas tank, just like you. I, it just came back to training. I just kept telling him like, hey, every time I took a deep breath, I'm like, I've done more. Grab I've work. done more. I've done more. I can do more. <laughs> then I was just, he just keep going because I know I've done more. Just keep going. <laughs> yeah. And then like with the clinching, seriously, even when the ref would join in, he would just hold my head. Yeah. I like, I'm like, you're just holding on. You're just trying to survive. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see he's doing a pretty classic yeah. Thai style of like, it's a, you clinch and you stall like, at the same time. Yeah, yeah, he just like holds yeah, on to see. It. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Fight more. Yeah, and he's like just holding on for the most part. He's, he's definitely being active with yeah. the knees, but they're not the most oh. active. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, his legs are somewhat loose here. I always like. I expected it to be this way, but I like I almost wanted it to be like this. I'm like, mm -hmm. come on, Oof. give me the, the fight. From him. Give me the fight. <laughs> Good. Oh, yes! man, what a right hand. <laughs> So, wait, <laughs> how do you think you were winning here? How did you feel? I, yeah, I felt like, I felt like I was in control. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, this is a good... And then the was, clinching. I think yeah. the clinching just started happening. I'm like, come on. That was good. some good knees to end that second yeah. round. So, you always like, we always had our moments. Mm -hmm. And then depending, I, just from being subjective, like with the rep, it really just like you just have to rem what part did they remember? There, I would say you know. There's that knockdown. There's a knockdown. I'm like, what the rep? What are you looking at? You know. Yeah. You lifted him up with that knee. Yeah. He he's like very unbalanced with his shots. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, I'm not saying he's bad or anything. It's just his style. Just he's, his style. He's just wild and forward. Yeah. Um, he basically leans into you all the time. Look at that. That was landed. Yeah. Damn. That was the knockdown. And that would have uh, that would have changed the fight. Yeah, that would have <laughs> changed the fight dramatically. Yeah. One thing I noticed watching these watching this is that I've stopped pushing him back. Mm. Like he, I just forgot to just keep him at my range. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. he would just fall in on my punches. He would just cop as much as he wanted and then just come in. Yeah, with that big overhand, he like yeah. comes forward all the time. See there, it yeah, is again. There he is. like he almost like. Adds down that yeah. hand. Oh, oh massive left hook! You, you rocked him there. He And he then he just survives, yeah. you know? See, this is, like, I told him afterwards, I, this is very typical and very smart. Yeah, yeah, of course. This is very smart. Running the time. He, it's clock control. Yeah. And he, Mr. Wong talked about it afterwards. Yes. It's like, I got, like, your symptoms. Like, you don't... When he grabs your back, yes, grabs yes. you to the side like that, it makes you look silly. Yeah, and just you need to always look strong. Yeah, the whole way strong. through. Yeah, like just dominate. Even like in these positions here, it's like yeah, as long as yeah, you look see, strong. He looks stronger yeah. in these positions. They don't score, but on that secondary level, yes, yes. It's better. And it it's like explaining the round. You go through. Again. I go through waves. Like now is clearly winning the fight, or winning this part of it. Yeah. And then I have like another succession, and then it just depends. I was just like, "What was the ref watching? You know, yeah. what do they remember?" The it's pretty surprising that usually even at the stadiums, if you have these body locks, sure. they'll break you. Yeah. Usually, oh! <laughs> <laughs> you kicked him in the head there. 
He's definitely Mao. <laughs> He's definitely like a bit drunk here. <laughs> and you see how he runs forward he after the break? Just jumps at you. Just jumps that, at you. That's something that I, I said in yeah, the back room. Tell I was me. Like, He's like, He's going to come at me. He's getting, like when the referee breaks, He's going to lean yeah. into the break. I should have just like sat yeah. down a bit more, just get myself ready for it. But look, look at Yeah, me. this is great clock control from him. But I don't think like this is enough to win the round. And it's what's irritating me. Because mm. if, if I compared this to the round, like the significant shots in compared to this, like yes, it's dominating me. Yeah, this like, is dom- he's- I would say he's like controlling the clock. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. I would not say he's dominating the fight. I would say that maybe this round he's oh like it's I don't know. <laughs> I like don't he know. might be he I might have know. scored more. Like it's tough. It's definitely something we should talk about after the fight. But I think I think you know like he was surviving at this point. Yes, that's 100%. What, that's what was this going is, through my head. This is like, clock control survival. Yeah, here. I'm like, you're just trying to survive the round right now. Yeah, um, yeah if I... I was try, I was talking to him too. Another left hook. Everyone was saying, great uppercut. I kept watching. I'm like, it has to be the hook. Because every time I've seen him rocked, it's from that side. Mm. <laughs> and, uh, well, well, <laughs> he's still holding on. <laughs> holding on. Man, that was the greatest. <laughs> that was the greatest. <laughs> How did you feel after? Were you confident you won? Did you think, oh, maybe you didn't know? Uh, I, ne- I think, like, at that point, I wasn't even thinking about the result, mm-hmm. you know? I think that was, I just wanted to fight the best that I could. I was like, just do your best, just do your best. Um, yeah, and then oh, I, I, was, head kick. I was just su- not surviving. Boom! Like, I just wanted to make the three rounds. But yeah, yeah. yeah I, I thought I did enough to win, you know, definitely thought I did enough to win. It's interesting watching the highlights and watching the fight over, it's, <laughs> oh, oh my god, okay, oh my god, <laughs> the, that you was know, fun. the way it looks on the highlights, it's like, oh, I think you yeah. probably won, that was fun, that was fun. It goes to a split decision, see, uh, like, even here. Sex was like split, like he didn't even look, he looked on his face, he's like he doesn't think he's won. Yeah, I don't, you know? He's not sure of it. You he know? looked a lot more confident. To me, when it went to decision, I was like, uh, I know, I'm pretty sure they're gonna give it to Sex on. Yeah. Uh, not, you know, there's so much favoritism, I like do. not. Not always necessarily explicit, yes, yes, but implicit. You know, there's a great Tony Myers article yeah. about crowd noise and how it impacts people. Uh, I was telling you yesterday, the it's sex on or Kwan Muang, the man who yields to no one. You drop him, they're all going to think it's a, a flash knockdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Same yeah. as oh, you knock down Ratan, you basically need to knock him flat on his face. <laughs> You know, for them to think it's an actual knockdown and not a slip. I didn't, I didn't, I think because of how big the fight was throughout, throughout camp, I wasn't thinking about anyone aside from Sex Up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where I didn't even think about, I guess, the promotion or even the mm-hmm. show. Or not like you need to worry about like the politics, but I didn't, it never crossed my mind. Mm-hmm. I was just so focused. I had like, I had like, uh, blinkers on or blinders on where I didn't even think about the external things that may actually affect the show yeah the result it's it's always interesting you know watching it back that that was the first time I watched it oh uh, really yeah and I think, you, think you yeah I think you lost. <laughs> I think I think there's a strong case you lost the third round for sure for sure um I don't think you got damaged that much yeah but I felt like Saxon might have scored more points than you and controlled. Yeah, but the first two rounds, I think even without that knockdown, I think you would have won it. Thanks, bro. The uh, it's interesting. The scorecards were released. I'll probably put a photo of it right here. Yeah. So you can see everyone's name. Yes. Uh, Abigail yes. Nelson. It was yes. Michael Green. Thank you, Abigail. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Well, uh, Abigail 
uh, voted round one and three for you? Yeah, and two yes, for him. I think so. Whereas Michael Green had all three rounds for sex. Though. Which, I mean, like, I was, I watched the fight and I'm like, how? What yeah. was, like, you know, and I like how I explained watching it. If, if you just remember parts that it was never, it was, it was so close. And it's just whatever was more memorable at the time for that yeah. round, mm -hmm. then I would have scored it that way too, you know? Yeah. Like, there was, you know, in the the end of the second round, I think he finished with a few knees. Yeah. Some There's always that recency bias as yeah. well, where it's very, very important to end the round strong sure, because sure. a lot of people don't remember the full of the fight and that was they just, stop as well. Yeah, <laughs> they just, just remember the last 10 seconds. Yeah. So, anyways, great exciting fight. So good. <laughs> yeah, so good. Uh definitely one for your personal history books. Uh, definitely, definitely. Uh what is next for River Des? I'm not sure right now. I just want to heal up. No. But everyone has said that I've talked to here at the gym has said superstar Superstar. Uh, superstar. Superstar. And like, you didn't lose that fight. You probably won a lot more fans because of the result. Um, and they just they just can't wait. They run a couple of my friends, a couple of people that are even there. I said like, you just showcase that you, you, you belong there mm. with the elite. And I'm just excited to see what's next. Um, everyone's telling me that this isn't my best performance yet, and that like from each performance this year, I've just grown it exceptionally, it, um, and they just can't wait to see, see more. So I don't know. I'll just well, I'm just taking it easy at the moment. I'm looking forward to going home for a second and just relaxing, and then I just clear my mind, clear my thoughts, and then we'll see what happens for next year. All right, sounds good. Well. Thank you, everyone. Make, Thank you. Make sure to give River a f follow. Give follow, him a follow. <laughs> yeah, follow his uh, super stardom journey. And if you like this, definitely let us know what you thought about the verdict of the fight because we're always interested in comments. Sure. Sure. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank bye you, bye. guys.